Hi guys, welcome back to another fragrance video on this channel and thanks so much for tuning in again. And welcome to my new place. So this is my new flat, how do you like it? Yeah, there is not too much furniture in here and it's a little bit like there's a lot of reverb. So I have to be a little bit more quiet than usual, but I will get this stuff sorted out and then we'll have a really nice space to shoot in, I believe. So today I'm gonna talk about a new fragrance called Minuit et Demi by a house called Fragrance du Bois, which is a house that I really, really, really enjoy. And this fragrance is really quite special because it's another YouTuber's fragrance. So there is this YouTube girl called Demi Rawling, who is from Australia, and she has apparently released this limited edition fragrance in collaboration with Fragrance du Bois, which is crazy because they are a super crazy niche house producing their own oud, which is all organic and stuff, and they have really released some really good fragrances, and I'm a big fan of Fragrance du Bois. So there is this Tom Ford oud wood kind of like fragrance uh, by them, which is called oud noir intense, which is super awesome, has a really nice oudy uh, enamelic note to it and goes in a very similar direction to Tom Ford oud wood in my opinion. Then there is oud bleu which is a kind of fresh oud fragrance which is weird because you don't have it that often. And then there is Zahra oud which is a typical rose oud fragrance but with a very enamelic and very oriental touch to it. So it's super oriental and it's an awesome rose oud fragrance. So I was really excited to see what this is like because actually, and this is maybe even kind of funny, um, I know Demi Rawling from quite some time ago and I didn't really, well, how do I say this? Um, I didn't really watch her videos that much. At least I stopped at some point because don't get me the wrong way. I was always feeling that she was kind of trying to be this, you know, 10 fragrances with which you can seduce a girl kind of content thing. And then I remember there was this one video, I have to see if I can still, <laughs> I can still find it. So there was this bikini try on haul where she was dancing in front of the camera, like almost naked and really in a weird fashion. And that's where I like stopped watching her videos because I was like, what the fuck is this, you know? But anyways, if a YouTuber releases a fragrance with a super niche house, that's when you get going and that's when you really want to uh, see what the stuff is all about. And that's what I'm gonna talk about today in this video. So first of all, let me start off with the good thing. I've watched some videos, you know, and people seem to say that there is not too much going on here in terms of performance because it seems to be more of a skin scent to most people. And I can tell you that I don't really think so. I think it has really quite a good performance, at least on my skin, at least enough to last throughout the day and enough for me to smell it. So I smell this fragrance from the beginning when I put it on in the morning to the end, which is usually at, I don't know, somewhere in the evening. And the performance is really kind of good. I didn't really get any compliments or any people noticing the scent, but I think if you watch some other video reviews, you might get the impression that you spray this on and it's essentially gone after like two hours, which is not the case, at least not from my experience. However, in terms of the scent DNA, um, I don't really like the scent as much. Let's start off with the fragrance notes. In the top notes, we have bergamot, cardamom and piment, which is, I believe, the correct term in English. In the heart, we have coffee and caramel. And in the base, we have vetiver, cedarwood, cashmere, vanilla, musk and tobacco. So it's kind of a gourmand fragrance because it has vanilla, coffee, caramel, cardamom. And I think in terms of the DNA, the first few minutes are actually really awesome. So the first half an hour or so is really nice because you really get a lot of cardamom, a lot of bergamot and also some coffee. So it has a really nice opening, especially if you smell like directly on your skin. I think it's really awesome in the first few minutes. However, after the first half an hour, I can say that this fragrance turns into a really weird concoction of notes. So I get a lot of tobacco in this, but I also get a lot of coffee still and a little bit of caramelly sweetness, which makes it really like overdose notes mixture that I can't really identify 
anything in and that mostly smells like tobacco with coffee, but still with a caramelly sweetness. In combination, it's kind of a thin and stale and not very nice scent DNA as soon as the whole stuff dries down on your skin. So I looked at a lot of videos and there's also this trailer on her channel and I think the trailer is really like comparable to what this scent DNA smells like because it's like in the first minutes you think like oh wow that's a professional trailer and then you notice that it's like well not that well done actually and that's exactly what happened with this one at least in my opinion because as i said the opening i really liked but then it was kind of like hmm this isn't as good as it could be and i think the main problem with this fragrance is that it smells so heavy but still doesn't have a heavy fragrance performance. So it has kind of a good performance, like in the middle of really good and really bad. But then the fragrance DNA is so heavy and so like heavy wintry fragrance that you're kind of like, hmm, shouldn't this be stronger for what it smells like? And if I look at the pricing of this thing, I mean, you get Serge off, you get Tiziana Terenzi for this price, you get a lot of other higher priced fragrances in resale uh, for this price. And I think it could really deliver more for what you pay. So clearly it's intended to be bought by people that follow Demi and want to buy like a fragrance that is designed by her or that is in collaboration with her. And in my opinion, it's not something that you buy because you want to get a really super nice fragrance because it could do way better in my opinion. And I don't think it really lives up to the price point that it's at. And please don't get me wrong, guys. I just had different expectations um, when looking at other fragrances by the house because I really enjoyed this house. And this was kind of disappointing to me in terms of the fragrance DNA. Although, as I said, the opening is nice and um, the overall performance is also quite okay in my opinion. So of course, as I said, this is only about the scent and not about Demi. I don't really know her content or her community because I don't watch her videos anymore. But that being said, I would probably not spend as much money on this fragrance. So that was my opinion of Minuit et Demi by Fragrance du Bois in collaboration with Demi Rawling. Please let me know what you think about this fragrance if you have tried this. Just write a comment in the comment section down below. If you like this video, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel if you are new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching and bye bye.